Jeremiah 44, verse 17, verse 19, and verse 25, describes what Israel had fallen into in their sin. They had started worshiping what's called the Queen of Heaven. Any of you former Roman Catholics? Raise your hand if you're a born-again Roman Catholic. A few of you. Do you know what the Roman Catholic Church calls Mary today? The Queen of Heaven. Why do you think they call her that? Well, Israel used to worship the Jews, abandoned God to worship the Queen of Heaven. Now, the Queen of Heaven in the Bible, the idol, was called Semiramis. That's the name of a person. And Semiramis was a, a woman who had a son, and his name was Tammuz. Have you ever heard the term hocus pocus, like magic? How many of you have heard the word hocus pocus? Do you know where that comes from? That's Latin. A Roman Catholic priest in the Middle Ages, when people never, people in the Middle Ages in Europe never left the shadow of the steeple of the cathedral. They were born and lived and worked in the fields and died within sight of the Roman Catholic Cathedral. In other words, people were very localized. They didn't travel. So all they knew is life in the fields, and then you went to the cathedral and went to Mass. And every time they went to Mass, the priest would come out and he would hold a little plate, and he would intone, he would say these words, hocus corpus meum, hocus corpus meum, hoc, this, corpus, body, Meum my, that's Latin for this is my body. Remember Jesus said that at communion. This is my body which is given for you. Do this what? In remembrance. You've heard that at communion your whole life. Your pastor probably says it. Do this in remembrance of me. So in Latin, the Roman Catholic Church, they kept the services up until the 1970s in Latin or the 1960s in our time, uh, the last 50 years. But the priest would say it in Latin. He would go, Hoc es corpus meum. And what he did is he took bread that every peasant living their whole life in the fields and going to church knew was bread. And by him going hoc es corpus meum, he told him he changed that bread into the actual very body of Jesus Christ. So they would go out and they would take a rock and they would go, hocus pocus, hocus pocus, only they wanted it to turn into gold. They thought if you said those words, hocus pocus, whatever you said that about would be transmuted into something else. So that's how that got into the English language. The hocus pocus, the idea that this person's doing something magical and changing something, all goes back to this. But what does that have to do with the queen of heaven? Well, let me tell you the story. Most people think history is boring. This is fascinating to me. Semiramis is a woman, a mother. She has a son named Tammuz. Tammuz was very normal. He was a young man that was very adventuresome, and he went out hunting, and he went out hunting, and a wild boar. Now, this is, this is pagan history, like mythology, but everybody believed it in the ancient world. So Tammuz is out hunting, and a wild boar attacked him, killed him, and dismembered him, which means they, the boar tore his whole body apart. Tammuz died. Semiramis went and found him. She took a basket. She picked up all the pieces, put it in the basket, and put the basket in front of her and prayed and looked at the sun, God, for 40 days. And at the end of the 40 days, Tammuz came out of the basket, risen from the dead. 40 days of mourning until the resurrection. That's called Lent. Lent came into the Catholic Church because it was part of the paganism of Rome where there was a mother, Semiramis, who had a son that died, Tammuz, who was mourned for 40 days and at the end of 40 days was resurrected. Now, if you know anything about Catholicism, those of you that were Catholics or you have Catholic friends, they, as well as many other denominations, go into a period running up to Easter that's called Lent. And in Lent, they are supposed to act a special way in preparation for the resurrection of Christ. And all over Christendom, people celebrate Lent, and they don't realize Lent 
is based on an old pagan Semiramis Tammuz story that has nothing to do with the Bible. But most people don't really know the Bible anyway. 